So it was my birthday this week and my husband, Mr Kelpie, took the day off on Friday and we went out shopping and I really wanted to get more compost. I have never had to get compost in the winter before because I've never done this and I thought, stupidly, <laughs> the price of compost would go down a little bit but if anything it's went up. My rule of thumb is 10 pence a litre for bog standard multi-purpose compost. That's it, I don't like paying any more of that. If it's a really good make, then 12 pence per litre is fine. But uh, for the bog standard it's kind of shop brand, 10 pence a litre. 10 pence a litre is uh, <laughs> what I'm prepared to pay. And I'll hunt it out. I won't just, uh, just for convenience buy anything. I will hunt it out. So anyway, I was delighted when I went into the range in our town and they had... These bags, which are uh, Levington's multi-purpose compost, and they were two for nine pounds. So I got six bags, and that worked out at nine pence a litre. <sighs> I love a bargain. I love a bargain, and I was delighted, absolutely delighted. <laughs> um, and then it got just got better because they had a clearance shelf thing, and there was a whole tray of lavender sitting. And I thought, oh, look at that. And then I saw the price. <laughs> £1.75. <laughs> there might have been some happy dancing in the shop. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> so I was pleased with that. They just need a little trim, repotted. Go keep them in the, the greenhouse over winter. And they'll be absolutely fine. Half price. Wonderful. Another bargain. So then we kept going and we went into home bargains speaks for itself <laughs> and they had uh, two tiers of pansy baskets hanging baskets and look at that right yeah they're looking tired they're probably coming to the end of their life but that is okay because <laughs> they were 65 pence each <laughs> happy days so they'll get clipped back de dehead them, clip them back, tidy them up, give them a wee dress and some feed. I'll hang them in here over winter. Whether they continue to flower or not, I don't know. I'm guessing they're not. They won't be winter pansies, so they're probably coming to their end. But it means for next year, I've got three nice hanging baskets ready to go. <laughs> so I was a very, very happy bunny yesterday with uh, three bargains. <laughs> I love a bargain. Who doesn't? It is horrible outside. We're getting the back end of another storm. So I'd rather spend the time in the house. <laughs> I'm going to make some fat balls for the birds. Put that in. So I've got some bird seed. I've got in the fridge about two months worth of fat dripping. I just store it up in the fridge and it goes solid. And then once a month, I melt it down, pour in the bird seed, and make little fat balls for the birdies in the garden. <laughs>
it is so cold. My nose is freezing. Come here. It's so cold. My Scott, are you caught on today? Oh. It must be, I think it's minus two outside just now. Um, luckily, thank goodness, in the greenhouse it's 15. It doesn't feel like 15, but the thermometer says it's 15. So that's good. Today, I'm going to harvest the carrots in the bucket. These are my Christmas carrots. I'm all organised with the information that you normally need to know, the information that you get from every other good YouTuber out there about how they know what date they planted them, what variety they are, what they fed them, how they look after them. I'm very, very bad at that, especially when it comes to potatoes. Don't ask me what variety my potatoes are. They are a potato variety. That's the sum total of my knowledge. <laughs> anyway, these are these type. I'll put a flash up on the screen. They take 16 to 24 days to germinate. And I planted, I planted, I sowed. <laughs> I could at least try and sound like I know what I'm doing. I sowed these carrots round about the second week in July. It is now the 12th of November. So they have been in the ground approximately 120 days. Now, that, I think that's quite a long time for carrots. I think about 80 is the norm, but, you know, they were still growing. Anyway, <laughs> they got a seaweed feed every week, and now and again they got some tomato right. Let's get going. Let's tip them out. I'm really quite excited. <laughs> Maybe not potato excited, but I'm still excited. <laughs> oh, you can see this here. Where are they? <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh dear. Where are they all? <laughs> Hiding. Oh my goodness, look at the size of the worm. <laughs> Never mind the carrots. Look at that, that's a good carrot. That's a lovely carrot. They are small. Maybe I shouldn't have had so many in the bucket. Oh, they're looking good though. They're a good colour. They're small. I know it. I wonder what if what I could have done better. A bigger pot, less carrots. Oh, oh, maybe I'm being overly critical of myself. I think so. That's a good carrot for a, a bucket. Getting dripped on with condensation. There we go now. Whoops. What have we got? Anything left? Nope. That's the smell lot, I think. And a nice pot of soil. There we go. Let's get you a closer look. Oh. They're looking great. Some of them are a bit small, but so what? That's more than enough carrots for Christmas dinner, for Christmas Day, for my family. So the first thing to do before I do anything else is chop these greens off. If I don't chop these greens off, an hour later, those carrots will be limp. And nobody likes a limp carrot. <laughs> we'll get them chopped up and I'm going to freeze them. And then they'll get defrosted and oven roasted with some honey on Christmas Day. 